Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs and today's video we are starting a new grind. We are going to be farming for the God Roll Reflux. The Reflux is a Hyperion manufactured shotgun that shoots a whole bunch of pellets and it, and it is OP on flak. For the God Roll, we're going to have to get very specific parts. For a body accessory, we're going to be wanting to get 1A here for the extra weapon shield and crit damage. For our foregrip, we're going to be going for either foregrip 1 with minus sway plus damage or foregrip 3 with weapon shield and plus damage. For our grip, we can only get 1, the extra projectiles. That gives us the most synergy with flak. And the magazine's a little bit more flexible, for, but for the actual god roll, we are going to want magazine number 3. That puts our odds, as you can see in the top left corner, at 1 out of 632. Let's get this job done. Luckily, I had the God Roll King's Call that I just farmed from Tyrene, the Destroyer. Get to her. My shots are trying to track her down, but they can't quite reach her. Oh my goodness. Okay, finish her off. There we go. Not a bad first roll. We could, well, first run, we could have done definitely better than that. And no schluter this time around. All right, so there's our first run done and dusted. Let's move on. Heading into run number two. I had a great time trying to farm the, the God Roll King's Call. So I'm excited to try to use it on my next farm. And the King's Call is more of a, a bossing shredding weapon along with the Queen's Call. Whereas the Reflux is more of a mobbing weapon. So I'm excited to try it out. Let's try to use my Corrosive Queen's Call to see if this does a little bit better for me. I have to be a little bit closer. Uh, she is quick. I'm not sure if the King and Queen's Call is going to be able to get this job done. She's very, very quick. How about you give me something like a like a light show? We can maybe go light show here. Might be a little bit more effective for us. Okay, hopefully this light show can get us back our action skill quickly. Because we're going to have to figure out a way to one-shot her. We can't be, can't be playing these games where she's running around for a million years. Run number two. Nope, no drop. Let's keep it moving. If we can get this this one early, I would be ecstatic. We're gonna go with the light show this time around. I do have the Schluter active. I could probably go for something more efficient than the Schluter. Damage wise. Alright, let's go. I toss me a nade. Enter fade away. There we go. There's a one shot. The light show comes in handy there. If I get a little bit closer with the King's Call, I think I could... King or Queen's Call, I think I could do a little bit better. Run number four. We're well on our way to 632. Excited to try this farm out. And we really want that times 14 projectile reflux. That's the big one. That's that's the one with all the juice. Let's use the King, the Queen's Call this time. Ask me a nade. Let's get a little bit closer than last time. It should give us the edge we need. There we go. If you try to shoot them from too far away with the king or the queen's call, what can happen is your bullets don't make it to your target on time. And so, you don't get the refunded bullet back into your magazine, so you end up reloading and wasting a lot of time. So you gotta get a little bit closer so your bullets can make it to your target. I, have need of you, but I really want to use this gun, because I just farmed the god rolls. I need to... What I probably should do is she look how fast she is she's she's basically impossible to hit if she makes it to this stage she's so fast there we go you're gone though no reflux okay keep it moving i as much as i like farming i um as much as like getting the gear i also like enjoying the journey of learning the fights better i think i might have to ping this character if i want to use the queen's call so that i can track her better so I can do that while running up. Let's try it. So ping, toss nade, activate action skill. There we go. With the ping, I think it's gonna be a little bit more easy. So we're not doing any guessing games. No guessing games when it comes to when it comes to where she is. I think the I think adding that ping is gonna be very very good for us. So it took us 117 attempts to get the God Roll King's Call shock, and along with a God Roll. Um, I already had the Corrosive Queen's Call, so... If you guys missed it, here it is. This is the King's Call. I can use it this time around to see if it will one-shot. I accidentally used my fadeaway a little bit too soon, but let's see if we can still get this job done. See that? See, I, it looks like I'm actually just gonna hard reset. 
I, I need to get closer up and, and do that a little bit cleaner instead of accidentally fat fingering my action skill. I think this, I don't, I don't think this will take all 632 rounds. I think we're going to get a little bit lucky. The game's going to hit me up with a reflux and I might go to the slaughter shaft once I find it or something like that. All right, toss me. Action skill me. Ping. There we go. Simple enough. Just got to be smart about it. Is this a reflux? No, Polybius. Okay. I'm not sure how good the Polybius is. It's a poison one. It could be decent for this fight, but... We go to run number eight. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't mind this one taking me a lot of farms. The only thing is I can't really go and do other things as much on this farm and, and then come back because it's a long run. That being said, I'm down for the grind. All right, try to juke it. Toss me. Action skill me. Ping. Oh, the, this getting that one miss is probably going to hurt me a lot here. Yeah, I can't afford to miss. That's, that's the big thing. If I miss, it becomes a really obnoxious fight. No missing. And, but it's like, you don't get the refund on the bus. So like, the King's Call and Queen's Call are really good at when you can hit the target while Fadeaway is active, but... Alright, let's see if we can do this. Get the ping off. Toss my nade. Get real close. Don't juke. If she starts juking right away, that is... I have to, I have to shoot a little bit quicker. Let's try juke... Let's try shooting our gun a little bit faster. Not getting so close up. Maybe I can... I can always aim down sight. This is the one right here. We got it. We got a good successful runoff earlier. All right, activate action skill. I think what's happening is she's taking damage from my grenade, and that's making her flinch. We can try doing it without the grenade toss, or getting a grenade that doesn't hit her. That could be something that can help out our our efficiency here. I think it's because my grenade is hitting her that she's flinching. And here to stand still. So this time, no grenade toss and see how we do. It will d d um, reduce my damage a little bit. I'm hoping we can still get there. No grenade toss this time. Hang. Interfade away. Okay, that's pretty good. My shots don't actually track her that well. They try to, but... Let's just go to my light show here. Clean up the kill. And I'm not against rock and light show, but it's one, I really want to use my king slash queen's call. I need a grenage that's, that gives me bonuses to grenade damage and weapon damage and stuff that doesn't that won't hit the target. Here's what I can do. Because right now I have a hunter seeker. Do I have a different grenade that I have one grenade, but that just it's not gonna work. This hunter seeker is going to hit her. What we're gonna do is we're gonna toss it up here, activate our act our fade away. Okay, not bad, not bad. And do we get do we get rewarded with a god roll reflux? No, oh, it's a times seven. It's consecutive hits. It's nice, but it's a times seven. So we are actually not going to be taking it. Unfortunately, we want the times fourteen. So sorry, reflux, not today. Maybe next time. Okay, let's run it back again. Toss me. Hey, there we go. As long as we hit, we're fine. Ooh, another reflux, maybe? It looks like a... Oh, it's a reflux times seven consecutive hits. Wow, two in a row. Would you believe that? That's a little bit crazy. Hunter Seeker making some noise. Let's roll. Very nice. As we continue on. So that's two refluxes in a row. I'm not against that. I think I might go to the light show. It's a little bit more brain dead when it comes to farming and it has a nice augment on it as well so a saucer grenage ping you yeah it's just it's a lot easier i don't have to worry about missing my shots and having to reload so the kings and queens call they will have their fights they will but as of right now i think this is definitely a light show farm for now not not having access to schluter either we're not going to be boosting you know we're going to get a ton of world drops in this farm not a whole bunch of stuff to look at but these farm videos are just a nice place for me to chill out talk to you guys i mean we all are if you're here you're a borderlands fan and 
If you like Borderlands, you probably like farming at least a little bit. Enough to get your gear, right? So I have a lot of boss shredders on Flak. What I do not have is a ton of mobbing weapons. I think the Plague Bearer is something that I'm interested in using for mobbing. The Reflux is something I'm interested in using for mobbing. And I have a Rowan's Call. I think the Rowan's Call is, is very good as well. But I would like something that can mob and get back my action skill in decent time. So... I think the Reed Bucks is going to knock out those wickets. It's going to be extremely good at clearing out multiple different kinds of enemies. Here we go. 15 already. I wonder how many we can get done in an hour. Because I just got done farming Tyrene, which is a, a mega boss with tons of immunity phases. It feels kind of nice to be able to just drop down and rinse a boss, you know? It's a very different experience. All right, let's go. Boss me. Grenage me. Goodbye, Genevieve. Oh, she got to her second phase. I'm not afraid, though. Is she invincible in this phase? It feels like she is. Can't see her. There we go. Reflux me. Ooh, two legendaries. Turbo 10 gallon and a red fang. Okay. I'm not going to be taking the red fang, but... We continue on. If you guys like... Um, Borderlands 3 farming and... You know, I know that there's people on Twitch that do it. But there's no one really that just posts full farming on YouTube. And I know it's not like, you know, the most exhilarating thing. But this is how you get to have your fun a lot of times. In a I can't see my target at all. Yeah, I don't think she has a yet. To she's just to take damage while she's doing her, her fat. Well, she's literally timing my reloads. There we go. Stand still for a second. Thank you. Okay. Is this... People like, I'm pretty sure people do like to, to, you know, still farm gear to this day. And if you're farming and you want something to watch, something to listen to, I mean, we're, I'm, I'm out here farming with you, which is pretty chill. Once I get this reflux, I think I'm going to go to the cistern and cistern of slaughter, slaughter star 3000 and the slaughter shaft to test it out. So let's make sure we get our ping. I don't want to be lazy. Makes it so much easier to hit her. Thank you very much. So once we get to the 632 mark, that's when we will start being due. That's when we were going to be, it's going to be all about how much is the day game going to jip me? Because right now, if we get it, it's like, oh my gosh, the game like saved me. But our odds on this run are exactly the same as our odds on run 631. Good night, Genevieve. Ooh, what is that? Reflux times seven. Okay. That's another reflux. At least getting a taste. Getting a taste of the reflux is always nice. I'm going to have to recheck the god roll damage. I believe it's 190,000. I can double check that real quick. So the god roll is 11,969 times 14. So just under 12,000 damage. Dang. Yeah, see that juke? Nice try. I'm all over you. I'm running just a pretty basic fadeaway flak build with a light show, a bounty hunter, and a revolter. I could oh I'm gonna I, I could put on the super the super soldier. I might do it right here just to see if we can one shot it with super soldier. See if we can, I do like to mix it up. Let's try it. So revolter off, super soldier on. I believe in you, super soldier. Come on now. I didn't ping. I didn't ping this. This fight's null and void. Null and void. There we go. We get. We have to try. That, that doesn't count. We're gonna have to try again before we determine whether whether or not the super soldier is good enough to get the job done. Because right now I've just kind of been leaning on Revolter every single fight. At least again against Tyreen to skip off her immunity phases. I was. But I'm hoping that by grinding out these kills and getting the better guns in the game that I can make it my next runs easier yeah super soldier can definitely get the job done 100 percent do not need to go um i i that's the same hunter seeker i have but it's it's not but it's not fire hmm 
I think I'd rather have a fire one. It's not, it's also not like cloning or mitosis or anything like that, so. We should be chilling. In the last episode of the finale of the King's Call, we not only got our God Roll King's Call, but we also went back and anointed a whole bunch of gear. So a lot of our stuff has, and I can show you, a lot of our gear has fade away active anointments now, um, including our Hellwalker, which is here somewhere. Where is that Hellwalker? Right here. Fade away active weapon damage is increased by 150%. So that's a nice gun. Nice job, Super Soldier. Good job, Light Show. What do we got? A 10 gallon. All right, let's keep it rolling. This is, with the light show, this has turned into a pretty simple farm. We can actually speed it up even more. So let's just go for max efficiency farms and and that'll be that. What's going on in my life? Um, my fiance has her bachelorette party this weekend. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to be recording some content for you guys. We are getting finalizing preparations for our wedding. Um, as far as my hobbies go, oh, hold on a second here. Honestly, what I might do is the Snowdrift Victory Rush doesn't do anything for me. Wow, that was, that's a lot. Let's do Schluter. Because if we kill one of these small girls and then Genevieve, we will get more legendary drops. So it, it gives us a little bit of a benefit. A little bit of a benefit. Oh, a stopgap for accidentally not getting the one shot. So if she starts if she starts jumping around, find something else to take out real quick, activate Schluter and then boom. The Schluter also might become active because I, I think this boss, is her loot dropping after? We'll see. Let's try it right here. So make sure we ping the boss. It's very important. That way we can actually aim where she is. Okay, go for the kill here. Don't kill anybody else. Stop running around. There we go. So Shooter is active. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't look like it triggers. Doesn't look like it triggers at all. But that, yeah. If if it if it was working, it would have definitely popped out more legendaries there. But let's just get some more. Let's get some more data pieces here. Good to see you, my boy. All right, ping grenade. Activate action skill. Good night. Oh my goodness, you got away with one health. You're gone. Oh, Schlitter, Schlitter. Oh, I definitely got it in time. Don't start with me. Looks like our elemental damage actually got the kill in the end. Which is pretty crazy. Okay, 26 runs in. Or this, this will be our 26th run. Let's go. Toss, ping, fade away. There we go. This time you don't survive it. Where's my reflux? <laughs> so yeah, um, a couple episodes ago I was talking about NASCAR, but a huge other interest of mine is actually the NBA. Because I'm, I'm a pretty big Washington Wizards fan, and the schedules for the NBA just came out. And the Washington Wizards have the most back-to-back -back games of any team in the NBA. And I don't know how, who does the scheduling or how. How about the Scott Roll Reflux right here? Not quite. I don't know who does the, the scheduling. But typically, when you play in a back-to-back, -back, you are more likely to lose the second game because of a lot of factors. Um, the other teams usually usually coming off of more rest and all that, but there's more back-to-backs this year in general But the Wizards are tied for the most and it's the most we've seen in the last several years as far as Back-to-backs go. So we're gonna be seeing the Wizards probably lose a lot of games, but that's good Because the Wizards are trying to lose on purpose actually that we are In the Cooper flag sweepstakes if you don't know Cooper flag is a a young prospect coming into the, coming to the NBA, and the Wizards traded away all their best players. We used to have um, Bradley Beal, Kristaps Porzingis, um, Russell Westbrook, all those guys, and well, we were just kind of like an average team. So we finally decided to 
Oh, wait. We have a reason to get a door shooter active. Shooter active here. Here we go. Here we go. She goes back to the center. Very nice. Atom bomb, static charge. No, thank you. And a rerouter. Okay. Don't need anything like that. So the wizards are in full rebuild mode. And we had the second pick in the draft, which was Alexandre Saar. And we also traded away my favorite player, Denny Avdia, to get another pick in the first round, which was Bub Carrington. And we got a third first round pick um, somewhere else. I forgot how we got that one. Oh, where's my fire rate? Super Soldier let me down right there. Let's get some let's get some shooter active. Here we go. Nothing. So it's gonna be a pretty hype season. We're what we're basically gonna be looking at, I think, is going to be a lot of minutes for the young guys, hopefully. Especially if we have lots of back to backs, because typically in a back to back, if you have someone who's um, injury prone or someone who's recovering from injury and a lot of times more veteran players as well they will get those nights off oh that's good shredtation right there so we'll be seeing hopefully a lot of a lot of different wizards players getting a chance to show what they can do i'm excited for specifically carlton carrington otherwise known as bub carrington from pittsburgh university he's doing he's gonna be great i think he had a really great summer league nice hot grenade here the olympics just ended and it was really fun to actually to watch the olympics watching steph curry go off against france hitting fadeaway three-pointers and, and basically putting the nail in the coffin and the the home team's hope to win gold it was pretty amazing to watch Olympics in general is just a really cool thing and as a I'm a history major right so I like to me the Olympics are just like a really cool you know it's a disp display of oh I accidentally swapped we weapons to the wrong weapon I have a fire weapon out right now <laughs> let's go ahead and swap back to my light show here we go did we get a kill on this laddie let's go back to Genevieve we should be getting our action skill back soon yeah there we go I have to gotta get a reload off and get one off. I cannot see her. This is getting ridiculous. I'm trying to ping her, but I, I simply cannot see her. It's all right. And we can never die on Flak. <laughs> I swear Flak is the most like invincible character the entire game. Because he has a different kind of tanking that no other character has. He has the ability to have his pet come revive him. It's very rare that your pet die. And typically, when I'm doing harder content, I will carry around a um, the the clockwork res. I will I will bring this around with me to revive my pet if it goes down. Let's go ahead and get my ping off here. Activate my action skill. There we go. Nice and clean. So I will make sure my pet is alive, and no other character in the game can counter what i call like the games the the fight for your life mechanic where the more times you go down in a row the faster you die right so no matter what if you if you start chain going down because you can't get a rhythm right if you're playing mo's and you can't quite get you can't get your grenade, grenade throws off to heal you and you're you're struggling you can end up in a death spiral um or even even more with this, these splash damage characters with, with how much splash damage is available to you in borderlands 3 these you end up taking out the entire map with like ricochets and things like that and you can't live if you run to a barrel especially as a most player i've i've gone down to myself so much in the past and well being able to get back up from that just because your pet is around because it's always around is pretty insane. All right, we're going to have to go for a kill here. Get a shooter going. Go. Hey, if I stand still, I think I'll have more damage. If I, I think I can really guarantee the kill if I do it. Still, I have still not gotten a times 14 reflux. There is a times 7. 
But the first part that we have to get past, the most visual part, is the... I believe it's the grip that, that gives me the extra projectiles or not. So we gotta get that grip right. We want those 14 projectiles. Let's hunt. Alright, toss me. Ping. Stand still. Get the extra damage. Beautiful. So what is exactly is our bonus for standing still? I think it's in the orange tree. It is... Hmm. I thought it was in this orange tree, no? Is it in green tree? Oh, I, I, I could be putting more points into eager to impress. I gotta see which, which skill is it that gives me this one. Turn tail and run. While moving flat constantly regenerates health and gains damage reduction. So how much gun damage while still 25% and fire rate will still 12%? That's, that, those are some pretty big bonuses. We gotta make sure that we we're making use of those by standing still for sure. I didn't realize that I didn't have... Okay, yeah, we're on round 36 now, I believe. I didn't realize I wasn't running more than one point and eager to impress, which gives me back my action skill on hit. And I had just got done doing a whole bunch of time green kills. I probably would have helped out to know. Dang. Action skill, stand still. Yeah. Let's make sure we stand still. And it's a lot easier. Okay, pick these up and go next. On to run number 37. If we could... Uh, if I push it efficiency-wise, we could get 100 runs per video and get this done in 6 videos, 7 videos. Hopefully. Alright. Aid me. Action skill me. Stand still. Ping the enemy. Don't do it. Okay, well, we can get a Schluter going. Schluter me. There we go. Stand still again. Beautiful. Oh, and we, remember, we're getting our Vault card leveled up. Something that we could also put on Miss Moxie's endowment. Look at this. I'm down. Nobody's around to kill. Hey, buddy. You want to just heal me? Boom. It's so OP. Let's see. Big boom blaster. No, I'm good without it. Okay. Heading out. Number 38. We like that a lot. Alright, let's drop. Oh, we had enough damage too, even without the bonus from the super soldier. Like that. I doubt I can freeze this enemy, but I wonder if I went right up next to her and used like a snowshoe or something, if I could have the damage to kill her. I doubt it. We can always go back to the revolter to get max damage. But with how much she moves, it's just not worth missing shots with the king or king's call. If I could... The King or Queen's Call is probably going to be my number one weapon for taking on challenges like... She's standing still? No. Taking on challenges like the Seer or Emo Vorse and stuff like that. But for Genevieve, it's just not going to be it. Molten Phasor is actually not bad. 150 over 90 in the Phasor isn't bad, but... We are going to be going for the Reflux as our primary shotgun. Feeling good, like we should, you know what I'm saying? These farms are always fun, like, it's the way Borderlands 3 is, I mean, a Borderlands game in general. I think I might save the discussion for number two, and I mentioned it in my last video, how I I have a discussion I, I, I want to have about Borderlands 2. I can, I can tease a little bit over here, but... About... Borderlands 2 slash Borderlands 1 versus Borderlands 3 and, and the whole like the setting of the game and how it, it sets the tone and how the, the Borderlands 1 and 2 games are just vastly different than Borderlands 3 like they did more than just update the gunplay 
and i personally believe that if we got say a blend or a, if we blended the game more to be like borderlands 2 in these certain ways that i think we could have seen like a more enjoyable ex overall experience but that being said i i very much like borderlands 3. that's not a bad cosmic stalker but i'm not gonna go it Run number 41. If we can, I might do an extended episode this time and try to get to 100 runs, right? If I can get to 100 runs and, you know, just be yapping the entire time, I mean, that's just the way to do it. I don't think, I'm not too sure how many people out here could be doing it. I might just be the GOAT. <laughs> okay. Fade away, stand still. Good night. Oh, that's not, that's a Hellwalker. All right, I already have a Hellwalker, and Hellwalkers have fixed parts, which means mine is, mine's perfect. I don't need to be changing it up for any reason. All right, we are speed. The only thing keeping us down right now is the, is the loading screens. Let's go. Cross me. Action skill me. Stand still. Ping. Oh, I accidentally swapped again. Fuck back. That's fine. Accidentally swapping. I, I I need to get my light show on slot one because I'm hitting slot one to go back to it. Get a kill on this laddie. Stand still. Got my action skill back. Sluter's still active. Oh, that looks like a it looks like a carrier. Yeah. Poor Atlas. I mean, I feel like the carriers my the OPQ system is like the big one. I mean, I like the Atlas replay. I, that's one of my go-to weapons on Moe's. In fact, I think I have it, like, equipped as my number one slot on Moe's. But. I I do have an OPQ system on this character. I probably will do a farm for it. The, the God Roll version. Oh, I'm, I'm falling. There. Oh, my gosh. Got to start doing jump shots. Okay. We're on run number 44. I mean, if we can get to... If we can get to 100, we gotta have to pick up the pace, though. We have to go max efficiency. I don't mind going max efficiency. But don't expect me to sit here and you know, talk about the intricacies of fighting this boss over and over again. Oh, yeah. Especially as we get better and better at it. Flacker. Okay, let's head out. We are speed. 45. You guys can put in the comment section how many runs do you think this is going to take to get this reflux. And if you guys have places you want me to go once I get it, places to go to try it out, I could do like, the true trials and things like that for fun. Gotcha. Nothing. Okay, next. But there's always Malawan takedown. There's the Guardian takedown. It's all it's all different kinds of stuff. When it comes to straight up mobbing, like the Slaughter Shaft's a great place to go. Athena's is fun. Even Six is fun. All right, let's go. Duke, King. That's as simple as it gets right there. Oh, what you got? What is that? Polybia. So I'm getting our Polybia. Okay. Forty-seven. 49 is my favorite number, so hopefully I can get it on that run. And if it don't get it on that one, I'll get it on 149 or 249 or 349. All right, let's go. Speed. We are speed. We are speed. Ping. There we go. Super easy. What is that? That's nothing. All right, you go next. And actually, not activating the Schluter is... A little bit faster for us. I'm actually going to slap on Miss Moxie's endowment. And the proper vault card as well. I need to get the right vault card on. Yeah, I might be getting XP for a vault card that I don't care about. So let's go Miss Moxie's endowment if I have one. There we go. Snowdrift, Miss Moxie's endowment. Perfect. And my vault card. Do I care about the, the Blade Fury, the Sidewinder? Let's open up my chest to see what I get. One key. What, three keys or diamond key? Okay, I'll take 500 iridium. That's two rerolls. 
Which Vault card do I want to be working on the most? Sluter, Power Burst, Troubleshooter, Gold Rush? No. Garden Angel, Mechanic, Super Soldier, Bird of Prey? I think it's Blade Fury. I don't know if the Blade Fury has fixed parts, but I don't... I have a lot more stuff to get in this... in this skill tree. Is there a flat cat I need to get? No, I already got this one. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep going with this one. Alright, Skag, come on. Alright, action skill. Ping. Oh, that's a one-shot. Oh, that's a times 14. I just know it. It is a times 14. Okay. That's 11, 9, 6, 9. I believe that is the the god roll. Give me one second here. I can pull up the, the site again. Okay, so here's the god roll. This is, a, this is it. Uh, although this card does say for the reload time, 2.4 seconds. The actual mag is a 2.7 second mag. So this is, I'm assuming, the most updated number. Every other ma number matches. 11969 times 14, 64, 63, 2.7. Uh, fire rate 2.36 per second and 6. That's exactly the same. 11969 times 14, 64, 63, 2.7. Fire rate 2.36 times per second. And a mag size of 6. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a god roll reflux. Our odds were 1 out of 600 and... Oh. I have it and here we have my reflux exactly the same numbers one one nine six nine times 14 for the damage its accuracy is the same as the god roll so is the handling the reload time as well the fire rate 2.36 and the mag size is six there we have a god roll reflux absolutely incredible so when you shoot it the five times 14 pellets i will shoot it i will shoot at genevieve at least one time um i had we're only 37 minutes in so i can I can mess around a little bit. I mean, I could, I could set up. I mean, I don't think I need to set up a different build, but I would like to get like a more efficient build going. And I don't know if this can kill Genevieve. But let's give it a shot. All right, toss the Grenache. Stand still. Oh, the sixth, sixth round magazine makes it maybe not the best for for bossing. Don't worry too much about her ju jumping around. Here we go. Activate action skill. Stop, stop running around, Genevieve. But thanks for the god roll. Oh, you're going to give me some, another one? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's go to some place like the Slaughter Shaft and make this happen. We got it in 48 runs, which is craziness. Let's go to Pandora. I'll meet you guys on the Slaughter Shaft. See you in a second. So I actually decided to take a pit stop at Crazy Earl's to get a reroll. I still have a bunch of Iridium left over from my last episode. Let's go ahead. Action skill active. Let's not do that one. Consecutive hits, reflux makes sense to me. I think that we don't need necessarily to have one with action skill active. So let's go ahead and head to the slaughter shaft. Okay, accept the quest. Let's head out there and see how we can do with this Again, we were expecting this to take 632 runs. Getting it in 48 is unbelievable. Let's go let's have some fun with it. Now, the Slaughter Shaft is a is all red health bars, so the reflux isn't is that with that corrosive damage shouldn't be that effective. But if it's as good as we hope it is, let's see. Let's go with Revolter here, and the Snow Drift makes Moxie's endowment instead. Let's go for a. I think I let's do an icebreaker auto idle damage against frozen. Mm, no, let's do snowdrift victory rush. I think that's probably the best. Do I have something with corrosive damage. I do this. This snowdrift victory rush has corrosive damage. Perfect. Let's do it. I did a bit of a respect to help me with this mobbing section. Oh, that's that's some good damage right there. We're on Mayhem 11, level 72. A little slaughter shaft for your life. Okay, so here we are on round two of the slaughter shaft. I thought I was recording for a while there, but here we go. I, I'm I have on my my frozen my frozen heart. I think it's yeah my. No, I actually want the frozen heart on. 
There we go. Have out my frozen heart, which will freeze enemies when I activate my action skill, like that. And then I can blast them in the face and chain it. There we go. Destroy this badass cartel thug. I want to make sure I get these chains going. Because if I can get these chains going, activate my action skill, you get, you're frozen. I can, get my, I can get back fade away extremely quickly. That's a big part of what makes this build so strong. So activate our action skill. This guy doesn't look like he can be... He's an anointed cartel thug. That is about as tanky as it can get right there as far as enemies go. Look how fast we get back fade away. It's ridiculous. Okay, and if we do get somebody like this, we can always swap to like a king's call or something. Try to kill him that way. But if we want to get back our action skill, we can just reflux it up. Watch the chains. They, they go around. Okay. Oh, I do go down here. Okay. Again, it's really hard for us to die because, well, our pet can come heal us. Come get me, homie. Thank you. Once I get up, I'm going to activate my action skill. There we go. It gets through his armor relatively quickly. And this isn't the, this isn't the, the biggest shredtation weapon, but what it is, is it's a consistent mobbing weapon because you can keep entering fade away and that's all you can ask for it's aoe and you keep entering fade away let's see how well it does in comparison to something like a a rowan's call that is also quite good this is my god roll rowan's call fifty-seven thousand damage okay so rowan's call me oh i don't even get a chance to use my fade away yet so here we go we got our fade away gone Ooh, and I'm down. I'm back up. This cartel thug is going to go down, hopefully. There we go. The Roman's Call isn't going to give us back our action skill nearly as quickly as... As the, re, as the reflux. Let's go ahead and use the reflux real quick against his armor. There we go. So let's go back. Let's see if we can get a freeze. So here we go. Once we get against the health, the health bars, it's a lot easier, but... The, where the Rowan's Call of Struggles is against armor. So, in comes... In comes our... Where'd he go? Where's this guy frozen out right there? That's crazy. That's This is without... No, no revolt or anything like that. Okay, see if we can get this guy down. Okay, freeze him. Stand still for extra damage. Beautiful. Toss me. Make sure we got we gotta keep firing, otherwise we will not be able to get our, our fadeaway back. We get a freeze there? No, no freeze. I think next two mags cryo damage might be or ne next two mags like radiation might be better than what I'm running now. Realistically, I think that's probably best. I wonder what, like, if I were to go on the, the Borderlands subreddit, I wonder what they would say is the absolute, like, best of the best here. This is the, some of the hardest mobbing in the game, and we are making it look like easy sauce. Easy sauce. Okay. Good night, homie. That's single target, too. There's no, no bonus rotation there. St we can stand pretty far back here and use our... A reflux chains to get back her action skill. Toss me. I didn't get my freeze I wanted there. Yeah, we can stay a little bit far back. There's our taunt. Pat taunts the enemies. Waiting for fade away. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I really get taken down. Okay, we don't die here. Thank you. Get a little bit closer. Slide in. Snowshoe. Or I should say frozen heart. That guy, I think, evaporated. Okay. Go down, homie. There we go. Oh, Daddy Goliath. I actually want to stand a little bit more this way. That way the barrel doesn't destroy me. Look at that. Or just damage. Okay, the chains will get us back reaction skill quick. The ammo consumption is a little bit high. 
We're trying to get ammo back as fast as much as we can. But look at that. I love it. Love it a lot. Executive hits is not bad at all. Let's go to the Rowan's call for a bit. Do you see how we don't have the damage to get through that? Kind of crazy, right? Come on, Pat. Give me back up, homie. Thank you. Just keep, I'm just going to keep working that crit, that crit spot until we get to the health bar. Boom. Okay, how much ammo do we get back? Only eight rounds so far? Okay, we stick with the Rowan's call. So right away, we're noticing that the ammo consumption is a little bit on the higher side. All right, go in. Activate my snowshoe. And my action skill. This is going to ricochet a lot of bullets around. Just like that. A lot of ricochets going out. Let's throw some hunter seekers. That will help me get my action skill back. Okay. Slide in. Snowshoe. Stand completely still. You don't tell me. I think I have next two mags corrosive. Is that what I have on this? Or next? I thought I had next two mags. A cryo. I guess I don't. Okay. Oh, I go down to an aggro tank. Okay, we should be able to get back up here relatively quickly. Especially with our pet. Just saying, yeah, refusing to die. Nice. Yeah, let's go back to our reflux now. Oh, we only have 14 shots sent though. We're not getting that much ammo back. There we go. There's some ammo, hopefully. Yep. A little bit. If I pick up a shotgun on the ground, that gives me ammo too, but I don't want to do that. Oh, freeze. Nade. Look at my pet took a little bit of damage. That damage is nice. And that's without probe enough of knowledge. With the cartel event going on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is nice. The fact that you can just keep spamming reaction skill is just huge. Is that? Yeah, there's an enemy in there. Action skill me. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting blasted around in here. Oh, yeah, I am. Holy cow. We are chilling, though. Later. We're getting close to beating this. We'll get frozen, homie. We're just running out of ammo is the only problem. Okay, hop in here. Sure you. What I could put on, and what might be a little bit better than the bounty hunter, is a cosmic stalker. It's going to increase my hunt skill power. And I don't need the bounty hunter to... Actually, I don't need the bounty hunter. There's no bosses, so I don't get that extra part of it. I'm getting a bunch of kill skills as it is. Because I'm mobbing. So I'm thinking maybe the Cosmic Stalker is just a little bit better for this mobbing situation. Oh, I stepped on the, on the pile of fire. Get, get me back up. This was with bar off, by the way. Bar off... Hardest mobbing in the game. Some of it, anyways. Okay, you're gone. We were only wow, we were only still on round two. That's this is this really is. I mean we might have to do the entire thing here. We'll go to about an hour. Alright, go ahead and freeze. I said freeze. There we go. There's some deeps right there. What is that? Nuclear phase or? You're going down, homie. You're going down. Very nice. Especially with these badass cartel thugs all over the place. Very challenging. Look at this guy. This guy's tough. Don't shoot me with that launcher. Don't shoot me with that launcher. There we go. Action skill. Blast him. 
Very, very nice. All right, let's just keep, let's keep going. Oh, I I didn't uh, grab my ammo for my shotgun. Mistake. Maybe I can be a little bit more selective. Maybe I can use what I can do is use the reflux to just get back my action skill whenever it's down, and then swap back to my Rowan's call. So just use the reflux and its chaining properties to get back my blammo, my blammunition. And then move on to the reflux or move on uh, to the Rowan's call once the time comes when my fadeaway is back up. Alright, I need to get to my reflux here. Activate my action skill. And now I can go back to the Rowan's call. Get down to get this guy down to his health bar. Oh, I just I just stood there and just absolutely took it Okay, I think we should be able to kill this guy pet. Where are you? Pat come find me. Look at that. It's just so good All right, let's activate I my frozen hearts. Wow. Wow. I'm taking a lot of damage from nothing. It feels like there we go. Yeah, that, that reflux damage is actually really good. All right, Pat. I'm going to need some help here. Thank you. Blast him. Oh, man. Look at that AoE shredtation. Okay. I almost feel like the, only, the best way to do this is to just chill out, wait for my action skill, and then freeze. Nade. Should be tossing more nades. Okay. Get the chains going. Can I get some more chains, please? Oh, that's going to be a lot of freezing. Only four shots left. Make them count. One, two, three, four. There we go. Back to your previously scheduled Rowan's Call Gaming. And this was with bar off. If I put bar on, I'm significantly stronger. I'm gonna save me, pet. Thank you very much. Okay, so what I can also do is if I come against someone that's really, really tanky, like, like these goons, I could always go to my... Where's my monarch? Or even a light show. Let's go to my monarch. So it's position three Get frozen and that should help us out at least a little bit when it comes to Getting back our action skill as well, so it's the reflux is it's a secondary option. I think for mobbing um, I'm not sure if it will be my number one. I'm gonna need to get a cut purse launch pad um, I think a cut purse launch pad will will turn it into an even better weapon we go okay hope i can get my, my, my action skill a little bit quickly here he can't be frozen looks like or he was like too far up there or something that's that's no revolter anointed goon yes yeah, nice that's not bad that's not bad at all all right we'll go for a little bit longer Get frozen and get revolted. Oh, I'm sorry, refluxed. I mean, get refluxed, get frozen, get refluxed. That's such good damage. Such good damage. All right, let's go back to my monarch because I'm out of ammo. So, the cup first launch pad, what that will do is that'll give me my ammo back um, when I slam the ground. So, later, kid. I'm, I'm definitely adding it to the rotation of, of mobbing weapons. I think it's got a lot of potential to do very good stuff for us. Yeah, it's also going to Grenage. Should I burst this guy? Especially against armor targets. That's what I that's what I do struggle with. Freeze. I mean, that's just that's satisfying. That's fine. We go down, but we do it. Let's calculate it down. Have my bipod out? Yeah. 
My pet will eventually figure out how to save me. Thank you. If, if it, what's really nice is if you just pay attention, you can see where your pet is and you can basically save yourself by walking towards it. Nade. Oh, can I, I need to get my action skill back if I can. There we go. That double freeze off. Run over here. Bipod me. Freeze. Look at that. That freeze cooldown is really nice. Beautiful. Did I get enough ammo back in this bad boy? I got a little bit. I'll rock it. Single target. Let's go with our... Let's go with our King's Call here. Beautiful. Okay, so we... we we show we can survive without bar on. We can we're doing a a pretty good job th through this slaughter shaft. So at the, I'll, I'll call it here. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I will see you all in the next one. And hopefully we'll, we will be getting ourselves a cup purse launch pad to get ourselves way more ammo efficiency because we need it. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.